This is really getting old. Matt Walsh has finally, after five years, talked about the anti-Semitism hate speech laws that Republicans are passing through Congress to make them anti-First Amendment total hypocrites and total con artists. It sounds too crazy to believe Republicans selling out the First Amendment? Isn't that what they pretend to not do? It is, but they've been lying for years. You go any way the wind blows to regurgitate unoriginal thoughts that you've pilfered from the intellectual property of others. I wouldn't be so brass on that aspect if you've never stolen from me. Unlike yourself, the people on the Daily Wire are treading lightly because they are making money on that platform. And who are you to try to hold them to any kind of standard when your grift is just merely speaking talking points and peddling merch on YouTube? Conservative alternative media prides itself on challenging the parameters of hate speech and conflict it with freedom of speech. However, if you were to remove race, religion, and sexual orientation from your arguments, you'd be a poor peddler of merch, being that you wouldn't be able to keep your people entertained on just policy talks. Now, before your brain-dead, bigoted following come in here calling me a snowflake liberal, I would let you know that I am a conservative, and I have been way before Donald Trump made that the new counterculture. You counterculture conservatives only know how to identify yourselves by hitting hot-button controversial topics and or being rude to your political adversaries while claiming to be God-loving and God-fearing Christians. So why are you mad at Ben, for real? Is it because he didn't give you a job? Is it because you're not on the Daily Liar? And if you finally made it to the Daily Liar, I don't think that you would be willing to give up them coins to stand up for the truth. Now, one thing that us true conservatives take pride in is the fact that we embrace free market enterprise. We don't go doing the whole workers union thing because it has Marxist undertones. So why is it that you and your ilk are acting like the Marxists that you accuse the woke left of being? Ben Shapiro runs a business and he has the right to hire and fire whoever he pleases. That's the gist of free market enterprise, fool. And it's also us conservatives that are in favor of blue laws to give the employer the right to hire and fire whoever they please. You're a so-called conservative podcaster. Can we say that you're against free speech being that you never let liberals on your platform to challenge you? And besides, your girl Candace Owens was getting more whack by the day. She went from controversial conservative talking points to celebrity gossip and bullying leftist TikTok users. One good thing that the MAGA movement had done was get whack rappers such as yourself and Bryson Gray a chance at superstardom. Your music sucks, by the way. Ben Shapiro supports Israel. He's Jewish. He separated himself from his politics and put his people first. He paid Candace Owens to throw black people under the bus. And what's up with all of this anti-Semitism now? If it wasn't for Jewish people, Candace Owens would have never had a chance at the popularity that she has. And now that she's published in the Anti-Defamation League, do you think that she will be invited to any more conservative events? Those are funded by Jewish conservatives, by the way. Put some respect on their name. See, I don't think too much of you as a person, especially after you've stolen from me back in 2021, but I would really hate to see you get deplatformed to ruin your grift for clout chasing. Freedom of speech does not mean freedom from consequences. And the consequences for Candace Owens was losing her diversity hire job at the Daily Liar. And another reason that I could tell that you are without original thought is that you cannot even see where this is a play by Ben Shapiro to give Candace Owens more popularity by branding her as an anti-Semitic martyr. Now there's danger in that. The rhetoric that Candace Owens spews will rally some dumb trailer park troglodyte to harm innocent Jewish people. We all know the play, don't we? It first starts with disagreements of Israel's war efforts in Gaza. Then it becomes an attack on certain Jewish individuals. Then it becomes an attack on the Jewish community. The same play was made with black people. First, it was one black person. Then it was a group of black people. Then it was the way that black people vote. Then it was the culture of black people. Now, all black people are under attack by Candace Owens and her followers. But maybe this is all a good thing, being that the Republican Party just might rid itself of the loudmouth trailer park troglodytes that came over from the left in 2016. I'm Ricky Manor of the Melanated Rebel News Network, and the next time you steal from me, at least give me a shout out. I mean, you are getting money and people are calling you smart for regurgitating my shit.